Right, so again, I hear on this Massy bag issue, and I'm not stopping until Jervé Warner. I'm calling on Jervé Warner to make a public statement on this stunt that Massy stores tried with these plastic bags. And I'm gonna show y'all that we're gonna prosecute this case. I told y'all in yesterday's live video that I'm gonna prove a point that Massy is lying and Massy is trying to deceive customers and deceive the public using the issue of the environment to, to try a PR stunt and to charge people 50 cents for a bag. When Massey first put out the issue that it would be starting in July, I asked a question as to why Massey, instead of penalizing your own customers and charging them 50 cents for a bag that you say. Massey says, this bag is polluting the environment. Massey says, this bag is killing the turtles. Massey says, this bag, a turtle can't tell the difference between this bag and a sting and a jellyfish, which is the turtle's main diet. And I understood that clearly. So Massey said that this is a polluting bag, but then I remembered Massey had put out a whole big campaign when these bags came out with this. And then I asked Massey about that, because I asked Massey, I said, on your word, you said the Environment Protection Institute said that this bag is degradable, degradable, totally degradable plastic additives. So when I saw that, I said, somebody in Massey made a mistake. But then, some overnight experts found my thread to tell me that there is a difference between degradable and biodegradable. And that biodegradable is the ideal standard. Degradable means it breaks down, but it still exists and it still pollutes the environment. That the real goal is biodegradable. So then tonight, I go on to buy my little dinner by Starlight Drugs. I go on to buy my little sushi to go by Starlight Drugs. And I go to take a picture of this bag to tell Gerard Abood, Masi say Gerard Abood, your little tree branch drugstore killing the turtles because Gerard Abode and Starlight Drugs spray out plastic bags. And then I thought, I wonder if Gerard got an EPI certification. And I searched Gerard's bag only to find this. This here. And I'm wondering now, if the overnight experts who said this here, biodegradable, is the standard Starlight Drugs bag, just to show you this in Photoshop, in case the UE Guild, the couple of overnight experts from the UE Guild who came to explain to me the difference between degradable which they say still will kill the turtles that biodegradable is the real thing so I see little starlight drugs with their tree branches one in town, one in Dago, one in Maraval, one in South giving their customers 100% biodegradable bags no need for the customers of Starlight Drugs to walk with a reusable bag. I want to get it real close. I want to make sure that all the right letters there because all you know them UE experts. Them UE experts, it says 100%, right? 100% and I ask him Trinidadians because I, I'm not stupid, but 100% is still 100%, right? UE don't have a different percent to 100%, right? 100 is still 100. And biodegradable means biodegradable. And UE experts tell me biodegradable better than 
EPI totally degradable. So I'm asking now, Jervey Warner, because it's time to fire the CEO of Massey Stores for trying this stunt. Because now that I have found that little tree branch, and I, because, because Gerald Abood and Starlight Drug, tree branches, tree branches. I don't know how much stores Massey have, I think it's about 21. I think all three branches of Gerald's stores together can do the amount of business one Massey stores do it. And for Gerald and his family to be given 100% biodegradable bags and Massey stores only given degradable bags with still killing the turtles, it had to mean that the CEO of Massey stores doesn't care about the turtles and that Massey stores have been deliberately polluting our environment and killing our turtles. Worse, when they realize that their degradable bags, that the EPI say totally degradable, when Massey realize, see the same picture, right? Separate bags. When Massey realize that their degradable bags was still killing the turtles, I don't know when they realized that, instead of opting like Starlight Drugs did and getting 100% biodegradable bags, Massey Stores said to you as their customer, solve your own bag problem. And if you don't solve your own bag problem and you cannot solve your own bag problem, we will furnish you with another one of these turtle killing bags, as many as you need, but we will charge you 50 cents a bag. And even though we pay one and a half cents for one of these EPI totally degradable fall apart bags, we'll charge you 50 cents so we could make a profit. No, we're not giving that money to a green fund to make a point that we really care about the environment. You see, and I want to jam them now. Because this is the disgusting 1% and the nastiness and Trinidadians who hear this video and you should share this video and send this video viral because Massey get exposed here for trying to gouge their customers by coming with a lie, a complete deception to pretend that the problem is the customers and not Massey and not Massey and their degradable bags which Starlight Drugs quietly solved with a biodegradable bag. So Starlight Drugs, according to the UE Gill standard, is already compliant with the environment. They're cool. It says 100% biodegradable. That means the turtles can eat this bag and live. So Starlight Drugs, now, did that job and Massey couldn't. If they call an investigation inside Massey stores and ask for the minutes of the meeting when the decision was made to charge the customers 50 cents a bag, you will realize that this was profiteering. This was gouging. This was never about the environment. This was always a stunt to make people feel that Massey cared. To use the environment that Massey themselves are polluting and pretend that Massey cares. All Massey care about in this instance, with this situation, is money. Because Massey is not bringing environmentally friendly bags to their store that if you don't walk with a bag, they will sell you a 100% biodegradable bag. You know? Massey gonna charge you 50 cents for this. Turtle killing bag. Massey will sell you for 50 cents the exact bag that Massey says is fouling the environment and polluting the nation and killing the turtles instead of Massey just doing like little tree branch starlight drugs and opting for a 100% biodegradable bag. Now you tell me 
I have to see in that deception. Don't you think it is time that you saw Massey stores for what it is? A deceitful organization built on lies, willing to gouge its customers and, punt and posture on such a critical issue as the niche, as the, as the environment. Now that you see for yourself that 21, 24, 29 branch Massey always had an option to go 100% biodegradable and not kill the turtles and not pollute the environment. Massey opted to profit here at the expense of the environment and to continue that now and to pass the cost on to their customers. I am strongly recommending to Trinidad and Tobago that you tell Massey by sharing this video, send it viral and tell Massey and write Massey Post on any column, any comment, any thread that you could find. Write to the editors. Write to Mr. Derek Winford himself, if he is still the CEO of Massey Stores. Write to Jervé Warner. I think he's the chief executive officer of the whole Massey group. And tell them that until Massey announces that their bags are 100% biodegradable, we not shopping by Massey. Show them the power of the consumer to expose bullshit, profiteering, gouging, and a stunt. Show them people power. Show them that we do not like to be deceived and conned by a 1% organization. Tell Massey unequivocally, you have a responsibility to provide free of charge to your customers as Starlight Drugs does. 100% biodegradable bags. If you fail to do that, Massey, we will take our business elsewhere. This, this here tonight, is incontrovertible evidence that Massey stores, when they came up with this campaign, set out on a track to rob their customers 50 cents a bag. Shame on you. Massive stuff.